Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another timeless pick a card reading. This week I think I'm going to make the reading all about the song because as you know, those of you who watch every week, I've been drawing from this jar and I've been picking a song lyric each time. And when I finished last week, I thought, how many of these are left? Because, you know, I'm going to have to design a new set of what goes in here. And would you believe we have got exactly three? One, two, three. And I had no idea how many there would be left. If there were two, I would just probably get rid of those two and we'd start a new thing in here. So I've got a couple of things I want to do. One is um, looking at past lives, one is archetypes, there's all, all kinds of different things that we can do. So I was blown away that I had written exactly the right amount of song lyrics. I had no idea, I wasn't counting them. When I wrote them I just kind of sat down, had my Spotify open, had my YouTube open, I was just picking songs randomly and yep I had no idea that there would be exactly Three. And when I saw that, I was so happy. I was just like, this is amazing. So what we will do is for each group, I'm actually going to pick the song lyric first and then we'll take a look at the cards. So how about it? Let's go pick either group one, group two or group three and I will see you in your reading. Hi there group one, if you chose group number one then you are in the right place. You've chosen this tourmalinated quartz which is so beautiful. <laughs> I'll put that there. And you've got these cards. Now before we take a look at the cards we're going to draw a song lyric. So we're going to do this the other way around. You are lucky group number one because you've got the pick of all three songs whereas group three is just going to have one song given to them. So let's take a look and see what you got. I'm really excited. I actually I have seen these cards briefly this morning so I do know what is in the cards. Let's see what song you've got. Wow! <clears throat> this is really interesting makes for a good reading. <laughs> so make the best of this test and don't ask why. It's not a question but a lesson learned in time. Good riddance, Green Day. Wow, what a song. Okay, I remember using this song in the song series that I did. For each sign I picked a song. I dedicated a song to each sign and I'm pretty sure I picked this for Aquarius. Was it Aquarius or was it Capricorn? I think it was Aquarius because it's very Saturnian kind of a song there. All right, well let's take a look at your cards and see what you've pulled through. Now, as with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't. I am using these Aboriginal cards and because I'm using these Aboriginal cards here in Australia, I just want to pay my respect to the Aboriginal owners of this land. The traditional owners of this land are the Walla Medigal people. So I just want to pay my respect to them. And this card, it says up here, 13 Jellyfish Transparency. We've had this before when I've used this deck in the past. We've also had this card before, Appreciation. It's so beautiful. Okay, we've got the Wheel of Fortune upright. Beautiful. <laughs> Something's about to change. We've got strength in reverse. We've got this acceptance card here. Very beautiful and focus. That's a pretty incredible image actually. It's just it's quite a lot like that. Um, oh, is it Michelangelo? If I got that right, where he touches man and he brings life to man, something like that. It's quite incredible. And your final tarot, you've got the Seven of Wands upright. 
Okay, so what do we have going on here? Well, it's incredible you got this song. It really, really suits actually because I think this is pretty amazing. Because you have been, I mean, it's this card here. You have been, maybe you've been having to defend yourself. Maybe you've been having to stand up for yourself. Maybe you're in quite a bit of a, a tricky situation. You're in a difficult situation. This could be work related. It could even be family. But there's something you're having to defend. Or there's something, and you're probably having to work quite hard as well. We've got the strength card in reverse, which one of the ways of reading this in a very simple way is to say that you're tired. <laughs> You know, maybe you're tired of having to be so strong all the time, which is perfectly understandable. And, you know, if, if you're able to rest, I mean, resting is the remedy, really. Resting is going to be this, the way of getting your strength back. There can also be this feeling that perhaps people around you think you're infinitely strong. People around you think, well, you know, that person's going to be fine. Well... No, sometimes, sometimes things are hard. But I'm seeing that, and it, yeah, look at that, you're in a test. Wow, I'm glad we, we've got this the way around where we're looking at this first because this really suits this, these, set, these cards. So make the best of this test. You're going through a test, you're going through something hard here. And don't ask why. now. When I picked this song for the astrology song series I did, uh, this felt like Saturn talking to me because, you know, and don't ask why. You know, and that, that, that can be karma, that can be, you just have to pay this. Uh, you know, it's not a question, but a lesson learned in time. This, this is kind of speaking of karma. This is kind of speaking of, you just have to go through this, make the best of this test. Now, what... What does it mean to make the best of a test? It means to learn. A test is checking, have you learned? Are you learning? And I would say you definitely are in this situation. I think you're doing amazing. And I think the way through is really, and I, this, this one was interesting because I felt like transparency. I feel like this is what you want. I feel like you want others to be transparent. I think you're giving the truth. I think you're being truthful. I think you're being honest. I think you're being transparent. I think you're doing all the right things. I've got that strong vibe. But you would like for others around you to be like you. You would like others around you to be transparent. It's like, well, hey, you know, I'm giving out information. Well, come on, where, where do you stand? What are you about? And that's where this is difficult because to make the best of this test and don't ask why, it's like some of these people around you, they may not play fair. Um, but as long as you are, as long as you are doing the right thing, that's really all that matters. That's really all that you have to do. You just have to keep being you. And You've got some lovely energy on the table here, really, really beautiful energy. I'll tell you something, this situation that you're in, which I'm seeing as being defined by these three, strength in reverse, seven of wands, and this transparency card. To me, that's the situation. And the way through is very much here. This will change. The wheel of fortune, the wheel will turn, okay? Fortune is gonna come your way. Things are gonna change. What you've been working so hard for is going to come in, 100%. Okay, that I've got that strong feeling about that. This is gonna turn in a favorable way. Not always, right? Sometimes when the wheel turns, it's not always great, but I feel like you are in a tough situation. The next time the wheel turns, things are gonna come in your favor. Things are gonna go your way, definitely. In the meantime, the remedies are definitely things like rest, okay? Um, you will have to maybe take time out or uh, carve out some just alone time, bubble time, if you need that. Acceptance, this is another remedy. I feel like these two are kind of remedies here. 
this is a great remedy acceptance just accepting that okay they are who they are if it's to do with them okay this situation like other people but what if it's the situation maybe you're in a difficult situation maybe you're fine with the people around you but it's just the situation is incredibly difficult acceptance is just gonna help ease everything really accepting where you're at and accepting the emotions accepting whatever emotions are being generated within you and not taking emotions personally and not putting identity into your emotions don't identify with the emotions let them come and go okay let the emotions go and when you do that when you let the emotions go the fear the anger the all the, the, the problematic feelings when you do that you'll just be full of appreciation for everything it'll be so good you'll just be able to appreciate everything that's around you and i drew this card i think it was a couple of readings ago and i said that appreciation is I think one of my favorite energies ever I think maybe it's my it's the one I love the most Abraham Hicks they are a um, channeled group and they also talk about the art of appreciation and the energy of appreciation they talk about it a lot and I personally love this energy it's available to us all the time and the more we appreciate things around us uh, the more good that we're clocking up you know and the more good that we clock up that we can cash in on right <coughs> so i feel like i feel like things are going to be fine but it does feel a bit that there is something a bit difficult challenging that you're going through i know in these song lyrics it's so interesting because i because the other thing is I take this deck to be Saturn because it's got the black uh, and gold. It's a very simple looking deck and it's black. And I always tend to think Saturn's talking through this deck. And it's so interesting that this has come up with these lines because I also associate this song with Saturn. And I think he is putting you through a test. And I think you are possibly having to defend yourself or you've got all eyes on you or people are coming at you or some something's going on and but I equally I also feel I also feel like you're doing well with it I also feel like there's some angelic guidance coming through that's saying you're doing well and if anything you might need a bit of rest but truly I think I think you've got this situation and I think you're going to come out of it good and go easy go easy on yourself go easy on people around you i don't get any sense that you're in the wrong or any of that um, but this situation is definitely going to pass hang in there keep you know keep being you uh, and yeah i think that's what i have for you this time group number one so if this has been a good reading for you please let me know in the comments below i love to hear what you have to say and I look forward to seeing you next time. Hi there, group number two. If you chose group number two, then you are in the right place. You've chosen this beautiful rose quartz crystal. If you can see that. Isn't that lovely? Okay, and actually I'll put that here. And your cards for this week. Actually, before we do the cards, <clears throat> oh my throat's starting to go I don't know why we'll keep going I'm sure I'll be fine before we draw the cards we're gonna pick your song because this time I'm doing it the other way around where I'm gonna pick this first I'm gonna make this week all about the song so there we go there is your song <clears throat> gosh I hope my voice lasts I think it will don't know what's going on maybe someone in this group needs some throat chakra clearing I don't know but I'm getting the vibe that I should just keep going and it'll be fine. Okay, let's take a look. Oh wow, this is so cool. Peg by Steely Dan. I've seen your picture, your name in lights above it. This is your big debut. It's like a dream come true. 
How cool. I love this song. To me, this song is about, it's about becoming famous. That's what I think. Now, it's interesting. People talk about the lyrics of this song and they say that with Steely Dan, the lyrics are always a bit, well, they're a bit strange sometimes. And yeah, there are some strange lyrics in that song where it's like, what does that mean? So yeah, it's pretty interesting. All right, so let's take a look at your cards and we're gonna factor this in right from the beginning. As with any of my readings, please take on board what resonates and please, please discard what, what doesn't. Okay, we've got this beautiful card, giant, you know, oh gosh, I almost read that as giant calm. It says giant clam. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll read both. We'll read, but it's interesting because giant calm does match with this word here, harmony. And this is a very calming sort of a picture with the pastel colors here. By the way, because I'm using this Aboriginal deck, I do want to take a moment to thank the Wollamad Eagle people of this land for, for letting me use this land, for bringing me this beautiful card deck here. Um, yeah, I just, I just want to pay my respect to the Wollamad Eagle people of this land. <coughs> they are the original owners. And yes, I need to acknowledge them as often as I can. Okay, 23, all tied up. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of the Eight of Swords. Anyway. <laughs> okay, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Got the Nine of Wands. We've got fruition. Beautiful. And we've got justice. Wow. <clears throat> of all the cards in this deck, I think this is the one that has the most gold foiling on it. Look at that, isn't that incredible? Okay. Wow, well this brings an interesting a spin to this whole set of cards. <clears throat> I do apologize about my voice, guys. As I say, might be someone needs some throat chakra clearing, I don't know. And I mean, this song is about becoming famous. This is about, you know, I've seen your picture, your name in lights above it. This is your big debut, it's like a dream come true. So I don't know if any of you, Oh gosh, the throat is really not happy today. Wow, I was fine in group one. Um, I think there's someone here who is, I think you're working towards creating something absolutely amazing. And I think this thing might make you famous. <clears throat> whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're doing or whatever it is that you hope to achieve, I think you want a big, beautiful success and it's on the table. I think you're going to manifest it. I really do. There are just some challenges here. Nothing major, but there are some challenges. So I think you're pausing for a moment. I think you're pausing. I think you've been working very hard. You're building yourself up. I feel like you're wondering, okay, when is this going to come in? When is my moment, my big moment going to come in? When, when, you know, will my picture be seen and my name in lights? When's my big debut? And I think you're pausing. I think you've been working really hard. You want to manifest something incredible, incredibly big and beautiful. Look at that full moon there. I kind of feel like you want it all. And that's great. You should. Don't, you know, don't um, lessen what, what it is that you want. I remember when I was very small, my dad always told me, he said that aim for the biggest thing you can, <laughs> like, which I always tend to think is a scary strategy or not a great one. But, <clears throat> but actually, I think it's the right way to go. Uh, you know, 
I, I do think aim for the biggest thing you can. They, they also do say that when you're wanting to manifest something that's this big and beautiful, don't share it with too many people or only share it with those who support your vision. Okay, so that's really important. I don't feel like that's necessarily what these cards are talking about. I think what these cards are talking about, I think the challenge, maybe that is actually where you're feeling a bit bound up. Okay, we're going to explore this. This is really, really interesting. This is the card, Seven of Pentacles, where you've been working really hard, you've been building something up, but you take a moment to pause because you're like, well, is the effort going to be worth it? How many years do I have to keep plugging into this thing? You know, do I? It's that. It's that kind of assessment that you're going through. So I think you've been working really, really hard. This is some kind of creative project. This is some form of creativity that could take you to the top or, or give you this kind of excitement of fame or that experience of fame or whatever it is. I think you've been working really hard and it is something creative and you are pausing and you are assessing. Do I keep plugging away here? I think you will find your answer to that in, in some deep peace, some deep peace and some deep calm. <clears throat> My throat's getting a lot better. Okay, this is good. <laughs> I haven't had this for a while. I've been doing readings. Well, I did so, like reading yesterday, perfectly fine. Last two readings I did, boy, voice has been perfectly fine. Um, interesting. Okay, so giant, I'm, I'm going to read this as giant calm or giant clam. Look at this, giant clam. It's like you can't speak. There's something going on here. There's so, this is that that's this. You're the obstacle, I think, is that you are now is it that thing that you can't speak as in you can't tell someone how big your vision is or you don't want to tell people the great big thing that you are aiming for uh, which I totally understand. Is that what it is? Is it that you feel like you can't tell your great big visions because you're worried they won't turn out or something like that? This is the other thing. I, I tend not to, if I've got big dreams or big ambitions or whatever, I definitely keep it to myself. Yeah, I, I'm a giant clam. <laughs> I'm not going to tell people all the great big things I'm dreaming of or, or whatever. No, I'll, I'll keep that to myself. I actually think that's a good thing. So don't feel you have to tell people what your great big dreams and visions are, but have them, you know, have them. Have your dreams and desires and if they're big, great, the bigger the better, you know. You're allowed to dream. We're all allowed to dream. It's so important that we do. It's just important that we don't only engage in fantasy thinking or escape. If that's the only place we are, that's not a good thing. But it's good now and then to just reflect and dream big, right? I think that's important. That's what we come for. That's why, like, it's interesting. I mentioned Abraham Hicks in Group 1. I'm mentioning them here now for you guys. Abraham Hicks talks about it. You will, you will see it come true. It will happen. And that's the point of being here. The point of being here is very much uh, to, you know, to aim big and, and to enjoy the big things and the good things, right? So, so there's something about you, though. There's something here where you're feeling all tied up and that you can't speak and my my coughing and all that like that's all better now so I was coughing quite a bit earlier there is a justice component here maybe you feel like you can't speak up about something what is it that you can't speak up about what are you all tied up about uh, did I say earlier that this is also like the eight of swords now the eight of swords is a, and she's interesting here because look she doesn't look like she's in a bad way does she 
she let's have a look at her face and let's have a look at her she's all tied up this is the eight of swords are similar because in that the lady's all tied up as well but it's like she could just do a little dance move and all this would fall away it's not tightly bound and it's that victim thing that is actually an illusion it's like you're not a victim but you might be feeling like one i know no one ever likes to hear that i i know um because sometimes that can be very that can be very difficult but maybe someone around you is like that that they are a victim uh i think this is mm, this could be somebody around you definitely and perhaps this person who believes that they're a victim is constantly coming to you uh, in the hope that you're gonna you know that th this person might be draining on you as well that's very possible but what I see here honestly I see that I think you're doing amazing and I think you are within reach of achieving <clears throat> Look at that, the throat is still going, okay. Uh, I'm gonna leave it in. Sometimes I, you know, have to re-record because if my throat gets too crazy, but I'm gonna leave it in here. There's somebody's needed some throat chakra clearing. I, look, what I think is I think you're doing amazing and I think that you are on track for something like this, okay? You are on track to really succeed in this endeavor, in this creative endeavor for sure and I think you being quiet about your dreams and that is a good thing and only revealing it to those who you know want the same thing for you because some people out there they don't they really don't want you to succeed and they don't want you to be happy and they don't want that so be careful who you share your dreams and visions with and I think there's someone around you who might be being a bit of a victim I actually don't think this is you, and, but I think they're coming to you and I think they're draining on you. There's something like that going on. And they may be seeking some justice through talking to you. What they don't realize is the justice they seek is not gonna come by just keep talking to somebody else about it. It's an interesting one. There's a lot of different ways that all of this can go, but everything I've said there, I'm sure what I've said just now is, is needed for for someone out there. So let me know in the comments below if this was for you. I would love to hear how this went. Do let me know. Uh, it, it always does help. And thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Welcome group three. If you chose group number three, then you are in the right place. If you chose this beautiful piece of volcanic glass, just gonna try and get it to focus. It was focusing, no it's not. Well, doesn't matter. You know what it is. Oh, there we go. How beautiful. So if you chose this with the tiny scratch on it, then you are in the right place. Let's take a look at your cards. Before we do that, we're gonna have a look at what's left in the jar. You've got the last song, group number three. You've got the absolute last songs i don't know how many of these i wrote but i wrote quite a few <laughs> and you've got the last one i'm going to draw this first this time and incorporate it into the reading as we go oh wow okay it's never too late to change your fate right here and now i'm going to turn my world around i can't stop what i've started i used to think i was stuck on red now i know it was all in my head incognito goodbye to yesterday that is so amazing we got goodbye to yesterday like goodbye it's goodbye to the to the songs they're all gone <laughs> wow it's never too late to change your fate that's pretty incredible mm, okay let's see how that works with these cards now as with all of my readings please take on board what resonates and discard what doesn't I'm using an Aboriginal deck today and so because I'm using these set of cards I want to pay my respect to the original Aboriginal owners of this land, the Wollamid Eagle people. Thank you for letting me be here and use these cards. 
Uh, it says here, eight dugong appearances. Hmm. I'm trying to remember your cards. I did see them briefly this morning. Oh, wow. Magician and the mirror. How fantastic. Okay, for tarot, you have got the Nine of Swords in reverse. Great to see that in the reverse position. <laughs> Not so good when it's upright. We've got the Four of Cups upright. Creation. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It looks quite like a... I don't know. It kind of looks like... It does look a, a bit like an eclipse, actually, maybe. I'm not sure. That is interesting. Oh, fantastic. And you've got the sun. Look at that. Sun upright. Beautiful. I remember you, group three. Okay, and... Hmm, it's never too late to change your fate. Right here and now, I'm going to turn my world around. I can't stop what I've started. I used to think I was stuck on red, now I know it was all in my head. You know, I think this is really tapping into this. I think you have come or will come to some kind of massive realisation. And I think... I think there's some major pattern or dynamic or something that's going to lift and shift. There's some old way of being or way of thinking or dealing with things that it's like you're just not going to do it anymore. Oh, how interesting. We've got a phone ringing. <laughs> that doesn't happen often. I don't know if it's coming up. Um, mm, phone ringing. I wonder if that's the universe. Wanting to speak to you. <laughs> um, let's have a look here. So the Nine of Swords. It's never too late to change your fate. And I was just talking about the fact that there's some old dynamic or pattern. There's some old way that's been keeping you blocked or keeping your growth stunted or something like that. There's some old thing that needs to shift. And I think you're going to shift it or you have shifted it, or you're very much on the brink of shifting it, it's going away, okay? If this was upright, then I know you're in a bad situation, and I'd have different things to say. This is in the reverse position, so you are definitely coming out of something, you have just come out of something, or you've given up some old way of thinking, or there's something, and it is to do with thoughts, and it is to do with, I think it's kind of thoughts and beliefs that might be holding you back. That thing of I'm not good enough is quite a classic, but it, there's some old thought pattern that's been holding you back that I think you have let go of or are just about to let go of, or it's going to go away. It's going to clear on its own. It might clear on its own through, let's say if this is an eclipse, this visual here, which I'm not entirely sure it is, but there is, we've got the sun Kind of there. It looks, it looks like we've got the sun there. We've got the, the moon right in front of it. So I'm going to say that this is some kind of eclipse. Although it does say here, beaver moon. Hmm. Okay, well, if I look that up and I see some important message, I can put it on the screen for you. But I am definitely seeing you as being an incredibly creative person. And, and see this thing, it's never too late to change your fate. This is linking in with this. I think you're going to come to some realization that actually I'm in charge of my destiny. It's down to me. Like, I think that's what this is. I think it's, I think you're getting to a deeper level of having your hands on the wheel, of being in charge of your own destiny. We do have free will. We really do. Uh, you know, and it's never too late to change your fate. This, this, these are good lyrics for for free will. If ever there were, this, this is a free will thing. I see what's going on here. 
Oh yeah, I used to think I was stuck on red. Now I know it was all in my head. Look at that. You, you're, this is a, if you can listen to this song, Goodbye to Yesterday, Incognito, it's very motivating. It's a really cool song. So do check it out. Uh, but you see, if this was in its upright position, it's like there are these thoughts circling in your mind that are holding you back. And now you're like, screw that. <laughs> I don't care for those thoughts anymore. They're, they're useless thoughts. It's wasting my time. I want to get on and be creative. I have so much to do. And you do, you do have so much to do. And it's like, it's like, you know when, you know when you just take charge of your life, you're like, I can't keep doing this anymore. I can't keep doing it the same way. And you just have to shake it up, break it up, change everything. You have to become the magician. This is a very powerful card that you've got here. So this is very much about you making everything with your own hands, taking charge of the wheel, going, do you know what? It's, and it's never too late and I'm going to do it now and I'm going to change everything and I'm not going to click on another tarot card reading <laughs> or another astrology report. Again, I'm going to make it happen. I don't care what anyone says. It's Yes, look at that. I don't care what anyone says. That's appearances. Look at that. It's the, exactly, it's like appearances. I don't care what anyone else thinks of me. I don't care what anyone else has to say. I have got stuff to make and I've got stuff to do and I'm going to do it. It's really that kind of vibe. Now, we do have this here and this is an interesting one because because there's so much creative energy on the table that it's just out of this world. You've got the magician here. You've got appearances linking in with this. That is, I don't care what people think. Okay, it doesn't bother me. And that is a sun thing. Sun people, man, if you're a sun person, you'll be tested on this. If you've got a prominent sun, sun conjunct one of the nodes or something like this, or sun conjunct a few planets. <coughs> Look at that, my voice is going. You will be tested on caring too much about what other people think. See, but the problem is you have to shine. You have to be creative. You have to be the weird you that you are, right? You have to be, because you know that in some people's eyes, it's going to be weird, but guess what? You're going to have a whole load of people who love what you do and who are just amazed that, wow, you're going for it, you know? And that's what you have to do. All of this energy is all about that. It's all about creativity, creation. Look at that, we've got a scroll here. There's writing all over it, or like architectural plans. What is that? Let's try and focus in on that. My camera's not really focusing very well anymore. There we go. So clearly she is creating, manifesting. She's building something. So you've got the magician, you've got this creative energy, you've got a full moon, so you've got things that you need to Birth. You've got like full, complete things that need to come through. You've got this sun energy here. Gorgeous. Great. That's, you know, the creative thing in the, in the whole zodiac, right? So it's the most creative planet. <laughs> okay. But you've got this. Okay. What's going on here? One of the things I heard recently about this card is that someone had said that you, you're bored of the stuff that you are creating. So th that's one way of looking at this as well, that this could be a card where you're kind of like, you've been creating this and more of it is happening, but you're, you're just like, no, I, ca I can't keep doing this. So I, I don't know, there's something like that, that you, you're bored of your, what it is that you, you're putting out. I don't know, I don't, like, that's an interesting one. Um, this is a card of boredom. So that was just one interpretation that I heard recently, which was something new and I quite liked it. That you have been being creative and more is happening, but you're like, no, I want to do something very different. So it could be that. Maybe you need a shake up in, in terms of what it is that you're creating or what it is that you're um, putting out or something like that. Um, what other ways could we read this there is a boredom here there is or there's a dissatisfaction maybe or there is a feeling of and this card could be a bit is this it like is this is this all there is and 
absolutely no way like I actually am feeling like I want to throw this card out the window <laughs> if it, do you know what I'm not going to throw it out the window but I'm just going to put it right there there we go <laughs> we don't need that anymore <laughs> I'm getting rid of it why because this is all so wonderful and I'm keeping this because this is part of and if you've heard, ever had a reading with me you'll know that one of the things I do say sometimes is uh, or, or one of the things I do share is to say that you know the analogy of the movie and this is appropriate here because this is all about creativity we've got the sun we've got the magician we've got all, all this stuff so this really is appropriate here and the analogy is that with a movie let's say you go and watch a movie and the main character just keeps winning all the time no one would pay money to see that movie you pay the money to see somebody in a pickle or in a difficult situation but he turns it around he or she turns it around that is that is you know the point of a movie and in the film that is you right you need some challenge that you overcome and you are the hero of your own life you've got all this hero magician energy here you've got all this ability to create to use your free will okay man this is such a free will reading if ever there was one like you got to use your free will you can change your fate you can turn it around you can stop what you've started yes i think this does i think that meaning of your board of there's something in your life that you're bored of right now and this works let's have a look here i can't stop what i've started no you can you can you absolutely can you can you can if there's something you're bored of you can well i've just taken it out of here <laughs> you can do that okay so i'm loving this reading group number three there is such great energy here for you there is so much free will like and we do we have periods in our life it's not all totally destined you know it's not all 100 percent written no we've got slabs of time that are just we we can choose we can decide we can make it what we want and I feel like this reading is really asking you to take charge, you know, and take charge of the wheel of the, of, of the vehicle of your life. Drive it where you want to go. Make some changes. Shake it up. Try something new. Try different things. Really work with the sun. Work with your creativity. See what comes. And yeah, I hope this has been a good reading. And did I say in this reading something about don't watch another tarot reading or astrology report? I, I, maybe I didn't mean that. <laughs> maybe I didn't say that one. <laughs> you know what I mean, guys. It's all, it's all good. All right. Well, because of me, I, I click on those and watch them all the time. So, you know. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time.